He's been called the godfather of grunge. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Neil Young songs. Keeps me searching for a heart of gold. For this list, we've chosen our entries based on a combination of the artist's fan favorites and their most commercially successful songs. This note's for you. We're also considering songs from other projects, such as Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young and Buffalo Springfield. In the wild, well, a smile on my face turns a plaster. Number 10, Southern Men. There have always been two very distinct sides to Neil Young, and this song is a perfect example. Smacked in the middle of an otherwise laid-back and mellow acoustic set, this hard-rocking jam fest let Neil stand out from his singer-songwriter peers. This song, as well as Alabama from the Harvest album, also made Young a friendly enemy of sorts with Southern rockers Leonard Skinner, who even name-checked him in their signature song, Sweet Home Alabama. Don't get that with James Taylor. <laughs> Number nine, the needle and the damage done. Although known to enjoy a beer, a bit of pot, or to otherwise indulge himself, Young also bore witness to many musical friends destroying themselves with drug use. I watch the needle take another man. Gone, gone, the Released in February of 72, this tune was written about Crazy Horse guitarist and heroin user Danny Witten. Young was forced to fire Witten from his touring band later that year, as he was unable to properly perform. I sing the song because I love the man. I know that some of you don't understand. Milk blood to keep from running out. Recorded live, the folk rock tune has been covered multiple times and is often referenced in pop culture. Unfortunately, Witten died the night of his dismissal from a mixture of alcohol and Valium at the age of 29. Number 8, Like a Hurricane. By his trusty crazy horse, Neil couldn't quite get the song to gel properly until co guitarist Pancho San Pedro laid down his Les Paul in favor of a Univox organ. Producers scrambled to get the recording equipment on, catching the song already in progress, and several minutes later, a classic was born. for its multiple epic-length guitar solos Like a Hurricane was also re-recorded on pump organ for Young's appearance on MTV Unplugged I wanna love you, but I get so Number 7 Helpless. There is a town in North Ontario. Written by Young and recorded during a stint with CSNY, the lyrics of Helpless call back to his childhood in small town Ontario. The Young family moved to the sleepy community when Neil was four. Big birds flying across the sky. When recording the track with the supergroup, 
Young felt that the song was being played too quickly and pushed the recording session to 4 a.m. With everyone too tired to play any faster, the singer finally got the sound he was looking for. A folk rocker that's one of the album's highlights and a live staple. Number six, Old Man. Though this acoustic number's title might have made you and Neil Young's father, sports writer and novelist Scott Young, think it was about him, Old Man is actually about someone else. Love lost such a cost. Give me things that don't get lost. Like a coin that won't get tossed, rolling home to you. When Neil bought his Broken Arrow Ranch for the princely sum of $350,000, the ranch's caretaker, Louis Avila, was confused about how the 25-year-old could afford it. Oh man, take a look at my life, I'm a lot like Neil told him he was just lucky, real lucky. I need someone to love me the whole day through. Young was luckier still when the song's parent album, Harvest, recorded on the property, hit number one on the Billboard album chart. Number five, Rockin' in the Free World. The 80s were an interesting time for Young, as he jumped from genre to genre for most of the decade, including experimenting with electronic music and synths, down-home country, old-school rock and roll, and the blues. There's notes for you. So when he capped the decade with freedom and this straight-up hard rocker, it was seen as a return to form. And was his most successful period since Rust Never Sleeps. With its mix of anti-establishment politics, social commentary, and frantic guitar lines, this is classic Neil and classic rock. Number four, Cinnamon Girl. A hard-charging riff rocker from Young's first album with his backing band Crazy Horse, the song topped out at only number 55 on the Billboard Hot 100, but has yet to drop off the radio waves. Like several other songs from Everybody Knows This Is Nowhere, Cinnamon Girl was written while Neil was bedridden with a 103 degree fever. The album also marked the debut of his main guitar, Old Black, on which he played Cinnamon Girl's iconic one note guitar solo. Hey, hey, my, my, into the black. Hey, hey, my, my. While Young also recorded an acoustic take which opens the parent album. Rock and roll is here to stay. It's the electric version and it's bat crazy guitar solos that grabs our attention. At a time when traditional rock was slipping and punk was gaining serious ground, the song granted Neil a stay of execution and a level of street credibility among his younger peers. This appreciation eventually earned him the title, The Godfather of Grunge. even led to this song being quoted in Kurt Cobain's Suicide Note. Number 
Number two, Heart of Gold. I wanna live, I wanna give. I've been a miner for a heart of gold. Unable to play electric guitar due to a back injury, Neil made the best of being mellow and enlisted Linda Ronstadt, James Taylor, and a host of country music session players to record this track and its parent album. Keep me searching for a heart of gold. Heart of Gold became his only number one hit on the Billboard Hot 100 and his first big brush with fame. But Young would later say this song put him in the middle of the road and led to his following experimental albums. I've been to Hollywood, I've been to Redwood, I crossed the ocean for a heart of gold. Regardless, the song has endured as a fan favorite. Although Young wouldn't quite cover the same ground again until he released the spiritual sequel to Harvest, Harvest Moon, in 1992. Keep me searching for a heart of gold. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Oh, hello, Mr. Soul. I dropped by to pick up a reason. This summer I hear the drumming for dead in Ohio. Gotta get down to it. Soldiers are cutting us down. It's the woman in you that makes you want to play this game. After the gold rush. Well, I dreamed I saw the knights in armor come, saying something about a queen. Like much of its parent albums, this song was written as a soundtrack to an unmade film, also of the same title. Look at Mother Nature on the run in the 1970s. Young was inspired by a script penned by friend and neighbor Dean Stockwell, an actor best known for his role as Al on Quantum Leap. Thinking about what a friend had said, I was hoping it was a lie. But as for what the song is about, even Neil doesn't know. What we do know is the song and album established Young as a songwriting force to be reckoned with. Well, I dreamed I saw the silver spaceships lying in the yellow haze of the sun. With its dreamy lyrics and the use of just two instruments other than Young's voice, after the gold rush is Neil Young at his folk rocky best. Do you agree with our list? It's What's your favorite Neil Young song? For more free world rocking top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com.